hello guys welcome back to the civil engineering youtube channel please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos today uh, we are going to discuss uh, some important notes about the uh, civil engineering in the field so uh, there are eight points which are which i'm going to discuss with you guys so i will discuss one by one the first point is uh, that the tensile strength of the concrete uh, is 10 percent of the compressor strength of the concrete Usually the people don't know about the tensile strength of the concrete. So it's a general issue that the tensile strength of the concrete uh, can be determined by this formula by taking the 10% of the compressor strength of the concrete. For example, if the compressor strength of the concrete uh, is let's suppose a 3000 psi, so its tensile strength will be the 10% of the 3000, which comes out to be 300 psi. So the tensile strength of the concrete is always less than the compressor strength uh, usually, but it uh, can be is is 10 percent of the compressor strength of the concrete. So this is the uh, general range of the tensile strength of the concrete given by the American Concrete Institute codes. The second one is the that the maximum free fall of concrete is taken as 1.5 meter. Usually, when when let's consider this is any structure member. And when you pour the concrete in this structure member, uh, and this is in a beam, so you should take the distance of the pour concrete should be the maximum of 1.5 meter according to the standards. Because uh, if there is a distance of greater than 1.5 meter, so usually the segregation of the uh, concrete occurs and the coarse aggregate reaches the first and then the uh, cement and then uh, water, uh, water or maybe the cement. Uh, so the segregation phenomena can occur if your um, free fall distance of concrete is greater than the 1.5 meter. So you should take the um, maximum free fall distance of concrete is 1.5 meter. And the third one is that the maximum chair spacing uh, should be taken as the 1 meter and the uh, chair spacing means uh, they are provided usually to take uh, the uh, upper, uh, upper uh, main or distribution uh, in any building or in any structure. So the chair bars are the supporting bars provided in the building and their maximum distance should be 1 meter. And if you want to find the number of steps, you can find by this formula that the number of steps is equal to the uh, clear span uh, divided by the spacing and it adding the 1 to this formula. So we can find the number of space, number of steps in any beam uh, by using this formula. Uh, for let's suppose this is any beam. Uh, simply supported beam we have and this is the section of the beam the elevated section of the beam and we let's suppose place the stirrups like in this way and this is the clear span of the beam let's suppose uh, uh, 10 meter so uh, we can find the number of stirrups uh, by using this formula that the clear span dividing by the spacing let's suppose that the spacing between the stirrups is uh, like a 0.5 meter so we will use this formula to find the number of steps, uh, the clear span is 10 meter and 0.5 is the uh, uh, spacing and adding with the plus one. So it comes out to be like 21 something. Yeah, uh, if I divide it by uh, upper one by two, two, yeah, 21. So 21 number of steps has been used uh, in this beam having spaces having spacing of uh, 0.5 meter between the uh, two steps. So you can use this formula to find the number of steps in the beam or in the columns. The fifth one is that the minimum number of bars in the square columns are four. It means if this is my uh, square column, so I have to use the, uh, the minimum number of bars in the square column should be the four number of bars which are placed at the edges. And the minimum number of bars in the circular column should must be six. If this is my circular column, so the number of bars uh, uh, recommended by these codes uh, is six. That you should must use uh, a sixth number of bars uh, in the uh, circular column. And the seventh point is that the leaping length in of steel of reinforcement in the compressor member is 48d, where d is the diameter of the bar. You can find the uh, leaping length in the compressor member. Compressor member means like uh, uh, in the slabs and the foot um, in the slab. Um, sorry and the columns. Compressor member are the columns. So you can find the lapping length in the columns uh, with the formula 48 into D which is the diameter of the bar, smallest bar. So this is your one bar and this is another bar. So you can find uh, this 
in leaping length by the 48 into d where d is the diameter of the smallest bar. In case of the leaping length in the tension members like the uh, slab, like the beam, uh, these are the tension members, so you can use this formula to find the leaping length of your reinforcement by the 60 into diameter of the bar. So putting your diameter of the bar and multiplying with the 60, you will get the leaping length of your uh, tension bar. Tension means your slab and your beam uh, reinforcement leaping length. Hope you guys understand these uh, eight important notes uh, about the civil engineering. I will upload more important notes and more points about civil engineering. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.